Happy New Year's, everyone. I am Rob Adams of the Actors Workshop North Hollywood and Orange County. And today, for our first episode of In the Abyss for 2021, we are going to discuss resolutions. Or not really discuss resolutions, but, you know, every New Year's, people come up with their New Year's resolutions. I've never been a big fan of this. And the reason is because when people make a resolution, they make a blanket thing, right? It's just... I'm going to get into shape. I'm going to eat better. I'm going to do this better. I'm going to chase my dreams. I'm going to, you know, whatever it is. And the problem with that is that it doesn't give you anything to reach, right? So it's to sit there and say, I'm going to chase, you know what, in 2021, I'm going to chase my dream as an actor. What does that even mean, chase your dream as an actor, to be a movie star? So in 2021, out of nowhere, you're going to become a movie star? It, it, it's unrealistic. So I've never been a fan of resolutions because they die off, and they die off by February. We all know this. Everybody that goes to the gym knows in January it's packed. By the end of January, early February, it's back to normal, and then it starts over again, right? It's a cycle, and it's a bad cycle, and if you live that way, if you chase your career that way, or if you do things that way, you're never going to be successful. You're never going to grow. You're never going to get better. What I'd rather do, what I'd rather have you do is make goals, Okay, goals are more obtainable than than uh, resolutions because goals can be specific. Now, there's two types of goals. There are realistic goals and then there's unrealistic goals. And, and I know you're thinking, wait a second, Rob. So you mean I can't set goals um, like being a movie star because it's unrealistic? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if you are setting a goal for 2021 that you are going to be a millionaire, that's unrealistic. You're not going from zero to 100 in 2021, right? Or any year for that matter. What I'm saying is if you want to be a movie star, set that at the top as your main goal, right? And then from there, set goals that are going to get you to that main goal. So set the realistic goals to keep working toward the unrealistic goal. And then that unrealistic goal can become realistic. But when you set goals like... Like, I'm going to get into shape. Well, what does that even mean? How about setting a goal? I'm going to get this. I'm going to get myself down to this weight. Or I'm going to get myself to this strength. And then when you reach that weight or that strength, then you set the next goal. Okay, now I can lose another 10 pounds. And I can gain another 10 pounds of muscle. Or whatever you're trying to reach. Now those goals start to reach a realistic uh, end game, if you will, right? Um, so as the actors, as, as, as it pertains to us as actors, right? If you are brand new, okay, your goal should be listening. And you shouldn't worry about anything else until you are consistent, consistently listening um, in your work. Once you get there and it kind of becomes muscle memory, then set the next goal using the other person more personalizing it to them. And then that should be your goal until you are doing that where it's second nature. Now you're listening second nature, just like we do in life. We are dealing with people realistically, playing off of them, interacting with them, having conversations with them, second nature, just like we do in real life. Then you set the next goal and you set the next goal and you set the next goal. And all of these goals become realistic, right? And then build toward that unrealistic goal, whatever that unrealistic goal is. If you want to be a millionaire, set goals that are going to get you to that point. If you want to be a movie star, set goals that get you to that point. If you just want to be a working actor, set goals that are going to get you to that point. The problem with us as actors is we're told in class, hey, you need to listen. And we tell ourselves, okay, we need to listen. And then we move on to the next thing. Well, that's not going to get you there. Set little goals to get to the big goal. That is the biggest thing. And then, and then anything's possible. But to set a goal, this year in 2021, I'm going to do this. You're never going to get there. You're going to get frustrated and you're going to give up. Right? And then you're going to start the cycle all over again until you eventually just give up trying. Right? And then you move on to other things. And that's what happens to people. I'm not going to let that happen to you as my actors. I am going to force you. I am going to push you. I am going to drive you to chase these goals. So make it easy on yourself. Set a goal. And we talk about it all the time in class, right? When you get in the parking lot, 
or before you're about to go on the Zoom, whatever classes you're in right now during all of this, tell yourself, I'm going to listen today. And then forget about it, get into the class and go, right? Or I'm going to play off the other person more. I'm going to, I'm going to personalize it to them more, right? I'm going to believe more, right? Um, and then outside of class, of course, this is the stuff we talk about, doing the homework, right? Set a goal to, to learn something new every day, right? Whether that be something historical, whether that be something in the present day, whether that be something that you just want to learn about, you know, um, that's going to make you better as well. So what I try to do is I have all of these little goals, right? What are my goals in life? What are my goals in my, my business? What are my goals in um, learning? And, you know, when I'm in the learning mode, I'm working on one goal. When I'm in the business mode, I'm working on one goal. When I'm in the life mode, family mode, I'm working on one goal, whatever those are. And I'm working on that until I perfect it. Then I move on to the next thing. And perfection to me, once again, is it becomes muscle memory. We don't have to think about it. We instinctively do it. And if you, if you pursue it that way, you're going to give yourself a chance. Don't make resolutions. It's, it's corny. Somebody somewhere started the whole idea of New Year's resolutions, and we all know people that do them, and we all know people that never... Do you, does anybody here know any person who has set a New Year's resolution and has continued that for 12 months through a whole year? None of us know that. It's, it's unrealistic. But we do know people who have set goals to better themselves, right? And then we see the progression throughout the year. We've seen it through our classes this year. 2020, you know, was hard time in a lot of aspects. But in, in the actor's workshop aspect, it really made my actors better. It really got them to clamp down and work harder and do the things they need to do. All right? And what was the end result? Okay? Better actors. So 2021 now, let's put it a little bit more on ourselves to set these goals to get better. And once again, if you're new, make it an easy goal. Right. And what I mean by new is if you're you're in your first year or two of this, you're pretty new at this. Right. Set realistic goals. If you're in year three, four, five, you set a little bit tougher goals, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, tougher goals and so on and so forth. And that's how you will become better actors, better people, uh, getting better shape. Right. Um, those are the things you need to do. So. It's important to remember you can succeed. You will succeed. But give yourself, a, give yourself a realistic shot to succeed. And you will do really, really well. The problem with most actors is they're impatient. They skip goals. They get, a, they get too far out in front of their skis. And they get frustrated. They give up and they quit. And you never see them again. You know, people that are in my workshop that have been around a long time and have seen actors come and go, they know exactly what I'm talking about. What happened to these, these people, right? Why do they leave and then you never hear or see them do anything in the acting business again, right? Everything you see on social media is them and their back to their regular lives. And there's nothing wrong with a regular life. But why did you start acting in the first place? Because you wanted more out of your regular life. Right? You didn't want the nine to five job. You didn't want to be in a cubicle. You didn't want to be a server. You didn't want to work in front of a computer. You didn't want to be a teacher. You didn't want to be this. You didn't want to be that. Right? So why would you go into something only to eventually go back to it? You know? It's not because you couldn't do it. It's not because you can't do it. It's because you get too far out in front of yourself you get worked up, frustrated, and you end up giving up. And that's the difference. You know, I, I tell the story periodically in my classes. When Amy and I went on our first date, one of my students at the time was our server at the restaurant we went to. Um, it was just a coincidence. It was one of those things. And, and we kind of laugh about it still today because like on our 22nd wedding anniversary, we went to dinner at a restaurant in Laguna Beach. And guess who our server was 22 years later, 23 years later, right? Because of our 22nd, right? The same person. So here's a person who was being, and once again, there's nothing wrong with any profession. If you are making a good, hard, honest living, good for you. God bless you. It's not what I'm talking about. 
But why were you a server trying to be an actor? Because you wanted something better for yourself, for your family, etc. 22, 23 years later, you're doing the same thing. Why? Because you get too out in front of yourself, right? It's not moving as fast as you'd like it to go, and that's because you didn't set goals. Your goal was, okay, I'm going to train, right? And then I'm going to work in the industry, and I'm going to become a movie star. And I'm going to give myself five years to do that. That's what resolutions do. That's not even a goal. That's resolutions. In 2021, I'm going to be an actor. Well, what does that mean? Once again, we talked about this at the beginning of the video, right? If, if, if that person would have set smaller goals, okay, for the first half of 2021, I'm going to be better in the business, right? Honing my resume down, making sure that I have, you know, actors access dialed in, um, you know, submitting to the right things. But then also from the work standpoint, I got to do a better job of personalizing and working with the people and dealing with the people I'm working with and how I see them and how I use them. And so if you use those two goals, then you know what? You get into July and you're like, okay, now I can start doing this a little bit more. And you work toward a forget progression and that's how you're going to get to where, not only where you want to be, but where you need to be. Guys, let me tell you something right now. And we all know it, especially for my younger students. It's hard to support people in the acting business because most people don't believe it can happen, right? They think it's a dream, a pipe dream. And you know what? Make sure you get your degree so you have something to fall back on, right? If you went to medical school, nobody says to you, make sure you have something else to fall back on to, right? <laughs> if you went to law school, same thing. Even if you were, you were going to school to be a teacher or, you know, a, a business person or whatever, nobody says to you, hey, make sure you have something to fall back on. They don't say that. Only with acting, because they don't believe acting is a realistic possibility, a realistic goal. They only think of the negatives. Only 2% of SAG actors work. You're not going to be that. Bullshit. Bullshit. Somebody has to be in the 2%, right? Actors leave all the time. They die. They disappear. Who knows what happens? There are spots opening in that 2% all the time, right? But you got to believe it. You got to believe it, right? So if, if you really believe you're going to do this, then you've got to give yourself time. You've got to make a big goal. What is your goal in all of this? And then make those little goals to obtain the big goal. And if you do that, you've got a shot. And you can do this. Like I said, you can do it, right? And then you fall back onto the acting career. You don't have to fall back on something else, right? But you've got to do it the right way. And you've got to be patient, right? You can't give yourself, I'm going to put myself on the five-year plan. I'm going to put myself on the two-year plan. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. It is on the career plan. And however long that takes, be on that career plan and keep making goals. That's going to keep challenging yourself, right? That's going to keep you driving and pushing and keep you dedicated and determined to be successful to reach that big goal, okay? I hope this helps. I hope this is a good start to 2021 for all of you. I hope this is a video you guys can go back to and remind yourselves of set the goals not resolutions, goals. And once again, not only in acting, but in life, okay? Uh, real quick, I want to give a shout out to Jay Denton in my North Hollywood class for sending me a shirt from his business. I love the saying, endure, right? Goes along with what we're talking about right here. Endure, endure, never give up, right? I, I love that. Um, and I uh, wanted to give him a shout out for sending me a shirt. Appreciate you, Jay. Appreciate all my students. Uh, looking forward to a great 2021 um, please pass these videos on to your friends, get people looking at them, get people talking about them, help, help our business. And I mean, ours, meaning the acting business, right? Um, get them to subscribe, get them to watch, right? This is some fun stuff. Even my friends do, they watch it and, and watch the movie ones and stuff like that. Um, I think it's good stuff. These are life lessons, not just acting lessons. I will see you next week with our next video. Have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you then.